السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ٹو آل مائی اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس نائن ڈی مائی نیم از مس نورین اینڈ آئی ول ٹیچ یو بایولوجی آن لائن دس از بایولوجی بک آف کلاس نائن وی آلریڈی ایکسپلین three chapters of this book first of all we turn index in this book we already explain three chapters chapter number 1 introduction to biology chapter number 2 solving a biological problem and chapter number 3 biodiversity today i will start chapter number 4 cell and tissues and this chapter is mentioned in your book page number 51 chapter number 4 cell and tissues we start first topic of this chapter that is microscope and emergence of cell theory first of all we discuss here first scientist name zacharis jensen he is generally believed that he research he start their research and invent the compound microscope in 1590 it was this micro this compound microscope which invent by zacharis jensen it was a simple tube and lenses are attached at each end and its magnification range from 3 to 9x next scientist named robert hook robert hook improved version of the compound microscope robert hook was the next scientist he also improved the version of the compound microscope to observe organisms so students what are microscope there are two different scientists we already discussed there are two different scientists zachary jensen and robert hook he invent compound microscope and robert hook improve the version of compound microscope we already discussed here now now we define what are microscopes microscopes hoti kya hai and what is the purpose what is the object of microscope microscopes are instruments designed to produce magnified vision photographic images of object to small to be seen with the naked eye microscopes are instrument with the help of this instrument this instrument produce magnified photographic images of different objects these objects are too small and never seen by naked eye and the purpose of this microscopes we are easily visible the images of objects that can be never seen by naked eye wo tamam objects jo hum apni visible eye se nahi dekh sakte wo easily hum microscope ki madad se study kar sakte hain unke images jo hai wo hum microscopes ki madad se dekh sakte hain there are two basic parameter which are important in microscope number 1 magnification and number 2 resolution what is magnification 
the enlargement of an image is called magnification what do you mean by enlargement of image it means that the object which are never seen by an naked eye these objects are too small in size therefore in microscope lenses are used this lenses the with the help of this lenses this lenses are different powers ye lenses jo hote hai ye different powers ke hote hai and the purpose of this lenses this lenses help in the enlargement of an image the in, this enlargement of an image this is called magnification for this purpose in microscope we combining a number of lenses in the correct number and this lenses help to produce images with high magnification values second parameter which are especially very important in microscope which is resolution what do you mean by resolution of a microscope the resolution of a microscope is defined as the small distance between two points on a specimen that can be distinguished as two separate objects what do you mean by resolution resolution means the distance between two points of a specimen स्पेसिमेन के दो पॉइंट्स के दरमियान को जो डिस्टेंस होता है डेट इज कॉल्ड रिसोल्यूशन एंड दे कैन डिस्टिंग्विश एस टू सेपरेट ऑब्जेक्ट वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ रिसोल्यूशन इट हेल्प टू मेजर क्लियरिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इट ऑल्सो हेल्प टू मेजर क्लियरिटी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट okay now there are different types of microscope number 1 light microscope and number 2 electron microscope first of all we discuss light microscope here in a light microscope visible light passes through the specimen then a photograph of an image taken through a microscope is called micrograph first of all we discuss light microscope in light microscope we use visible light this visible light pass through the specimen when this visible light pass through then through the specimen then a image is formed which easily seen by with the help of lenses now students look at this picture it is a light microscope it is also called compound microscope in compound microscope or light microscope visible light is passed there are different parts of light microscope for example this is eye piece this is nose piece this is objective under side of objective lenses are present this is stage what is the purpose of stage on the stage slide are placed and specimen are present on this slide which are placed on the stage below the stage are mirror is visible when light pass through this mirror this light reflect and pass through the hole of the image and fall on the specimen when this light pass through this specimen which is placed on the stage an image is formed 
which is easily visible with the help of eyepiece under the eyepiece lens is present with the help of this lens we can easily visible image of specimen that is produced by the refraction of light in this way we can easily visible image of a specimen of different objects what is the main difference between light microscope and electron microscope in electron microscope visible light pass through the specimen while in electron microscope electron beams are present this is electron beam are passed through the specimen now we study some objects which are visible under the light microscope look at this picture 4.2 in this picture there are number of cells are visible these are annual cells we place anion under a light microscope we see this image under the light microscope under la under the light microscope we see different irregular shape cells this is anion cells and under the this cells are nucleus is also visible in the second picture we take another specimen that is amoeba which is placed under the light microscope we can easily see in amoeba with the help of light microscope this is the image of amoeba which can be seen by light microscope amoeba is a unicellular organism it is a irregular shape structure and it is found in pond water okay students in this way we can easily study those objects which are not which can never be seen by naked eye which can easily visible by light microscope second type of microscope is electron microscope is totally different from light microscope in electron microscope a beam of electron is passed from the specimen and they produce an image of a specimen while we already discuss light microscope in light microscope a beam of light is used and this beam of light is passed through the specimen and that produce image while in electron microscope a beam of electron pass through the specimen and they produce an image when a beam of electron is passed through the specimen they produce an image in electron microscope electrons are used which have a much shorter wavelength and this wavelength is much shorter than visible light that's why this allow electron microscope they produce high resolution image than the standard light microscope what is the significance of electron microscope as compared to light microscope electron microscope produce high resolution image than standard light microscope what is the purpose of electron microscope why electron microscope is much more significant than the light microscope because electron microscope can be used to examine whole cell it also examine not just whole cell but 
but it also examines subcellular structure. What do you mean by subcellular structure? Subcellular structure means some structures found inside the cell. For example, mitochondria, plastids, vacuole, nucleus. These are called subcellular structure. And with the help of electron microscope, we also examine subcellular structure and compartment of cell. That's why electron microscope is much more significant than the light microscope. Okay. Now, electron microscope is of two types. Electron microscope, there are two major types. Number one, scanning electron microscopy. It is short form of SEM. S stands for scanning, E stands for electron, and M stands for microscopy. It is a full name of scanning electron microscopy. There are second type of electron microscope. That is transmission electron microscopy. T stands for transmission, E stands for electron, and M stands for microscopy. There are two main types of electron microscope. Number one, scanning electron microscopy, and number two, transmission electron microscopy. First of all, we discuss here scanning electron microscopy. In a scanning electron microscopy, a beam of electron moves back and across the surface of cell or tissue and create a detailed image of the 3D surface. Okay, students, look at this picture. In this picture, scanning electron microscopy create a image, 3D image of the object. Okay, and second type of electron microscope is called transmission electron microscopy. In transmission electron microscopy, this first we cut the sample into thin slices before imaging. Then electron beam pass through these slices. Then skimming over its surface. In a scanning microscope, we not cut down the slices of the object before imaging. But in transmission electron microscopy, first of all, we cut the sample into small slices, thin slices, before imaging. Then electron beam pass through these slices and images form, detailed images form on the photographic plate. What is the purpose of TEM transmission electron microscopy? It is often used. To study detailed image of the internal structure of cells with the help of transmission electron microscopy, we study detailed image of internal structure of cell. What do you mean by internal structure of cell? For example, cell is made up of different parts, different compartments, and different structures, and different subcellular structures are found inside the cell we easily study detailed images of this subcellular structure with the help of transmission electron microscopy okay this is scanning electron microscope this is the picture of scanning electron microscope and this create the image of an object
so students i hope you understand this topic of microscope in next lecture we discuss history of the cell i need your feedback in group from 5 to 7 pm okay laugh is